What's going on everyone? Rocky here with 75 South Gardening and today we're going to talk about pests in the garden. In late July you may notice that you're starting to see those green tomato hornworms and more aphids. Once you start to see those you want to go ahead and order you some ladybugs. This will kill your aphid problem right here. Now as far as those caterpillars, you want to order trichogramma eggs. And when they send you these, they're already about to hatch. So all you have to do is hang them somewhere in a shaded area. And within a few days, they will hatch. Now to release the ladybugs, it's pretty much common sense. Just open it somewhere near your garden, take the top off, and let them out. Now I've already let a lot of them out in different places around the yard, but it's not rocket science. You let them out, and they go straight to work. Any aphid in sight will be gone before the night is over with. And as they keep hatching, these ladybugs will continue to eat them. And it's almost fall season too, so I'll be growing lettuce. And ladybugs like to eat lettuce, so that will also keep them around. Now I'm going to go to the other part of the garden and show you where I hang my trichroma eggs or trichrogramma eggs, however you see it. And that's it. Now I forgot to mention one other thing I might do is get a pot this size and fill it up with wheat straw and put it somewhere in the shade where it won't get wet. That way, they'll have a second home to live in. And once it gets cold, they will stay in there all winter. Now here is a close-up of the eggs. And as you can see, right here, it has that little tab. And you just flip that open and hang it somewhere in the shaded area. I'm going to hang it right under this fan leaf right here on my tomato plant. I've seen hornworms a few days ago. I think I killed about 10 of them. But I'm going to make sure I get rid of them now. Because if not, they will eat all of my tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, collard greens, probably whatever they can get their little mouths on. And it doesn't take them long to destroy a crop. Here we have the cucumbers from one of my first videos. And as you can see, she's pretty much loaded. And there's cucumbers everywhere. Now this is the main cage where most of my tomatoes, collard greens, and bell peppers are. Tomatoes have been slow this year, but we've had some crazy weather. Now here are my market more cucumbers here. They're growing pretty good. And as you can see, I'm releasing more ladybugs. And 
Now over here, I have my bell peppers that the bugs have been loving. I have a million holes in them. But hopefully these ladybugs solve that problem. Here's my cherry tomatoes. All of these are over seven feet tall. And down here are my collard greens. They've already been harvested a few times. We've actually been harvesting these since last year. And once they get as tall as the top of this, I'll just put fresh ones in. And over here, I have corn and potatoes from the potato video that the bugs have also been eating on. But within a few weeks, they'll be just fine. peppermint plant here and outside of the cage here we have more potatoes and tires now down here I have my herbs and this is my basil plant. We have parsley here, marigolds, more basil, more parsley, and marigolds. Peppermint, parsley here. I have some Italian oregano there. It's been growing for about two years. Lavender. And I also have a parsley plant here. And over here is my pineapple sage. Here are more lacewood eggs well trichrogramma eggs and these have hatched I'm gonna cut this open so they can get out of here though I have some lavender growing here a carrot and more marigolds Down here we have more Italian oregano. Now, over here, I have corn. This is my little corn patch here. Four different rows of corn here. And down here we have black eyed peas. This is my lemon cucumber. Here's a grapevine I've been growing for about a year. It's going pretty good. Cherry tomatoes here. This is a kiwi plant. I have my squash growing right here. It's already been harvested. And this is my cabbage. Once I broke the head off, it started growing back. So I just let it grow. And 
right here we have an orange tree from seed blackberries from seed and two more orange trees here well these two are mandarins and over there is my lemon tree this is my watermelon patch them covered up so the bugs won't get to them and sunflowers I also have more watermelon here but they haven't matured yet There's another cantaloupe and watermelon here. And we've been getting a lot of rain lately. That's why this plant looks so yellow instead of dark green. But it doesn't bother the peas or beans because they make their own nitrogen and they love that water. Then we have the back porch once again. Here's my strawberry runners from the strawberry video. And most of these plants up here are peppers. These are my replacement collard greens. But for the most part, bell peppers here I have a watermelon vine growing here with those tomatoes Another Cherokee purple there. Rosemary, more garden sage, a potato plant. We have a ginger plant there. And right here, another cherry tomato. And this here just shows you that you don't need a large yard to start a garden. A small porch can yield with good results if you do it right. And these have just started. And our season ends in November, probably around the 10th. So I'll probably get two or three harvests from these peppers. And this plant here is on its second harvest. I've already got about 20 tomatoes from that one. All right, up against the fence here, I have sweet potatoes. This is from my sweet potato video. These are, I think Japanese slips across the front here and the rest are just jumbo sweet potatoes. These, I'm not sure, they were just extra slips. More sweet potatoes there. More sweet potatoes there. And more there. 
Now right here is a few herbs. My Italian oregano, purple basil. I have some beans growing here. And another lavender. Over here, these are the potatoes that made it from the potato video. Have some garden sage here. And these are my cantaloupes. It just started growing. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of rain. But whatever I get off of it, it's fine with me. I have some kale over here, mustard greens, and more kale. Here we have my sweet potato bed. This is the same one from the video I made earlier. And you can't even see the tomato cages anymore. And all you have to do is simply grab it and push it back down in there. And it will just wrap around again and again. It keeps it neat. Plus, this is where I sit most of the time, so I don't want vines or bugs rubbing up against my head, crawling all in my shirt. Just that simple. And it will wrap, wrap around and around on its own and just get tangled. And you also can eat these tops cook them just like you would cook cook them just like you would cook collard greens and over here I have beans they're looking pretty rough right now but they're also producing And that's pretty much it. Not the biggest garden, but it's enough to provide for the family. That's pretty much it. That's the whole garden. We also have compost pile here where I keep all of my horse manure. You don't need much space to garden. You just have to know how to put it together.